In this lesson, we're going to make a few improvements to our Passport.js login system, including sending messages back to the root when the user fails to log in correctly, otherwise known as flash messages. So at the end of the previous lesson, we were getting a rather ugly unauthorised message when the user logs in with a bad username and password, rather than displaying something a bit more useful and giving them the chance to log in with a different username and password. So when we get Passport to actually authenticate with the local strategy, we can pass some options to the authenticate function to configure its behaviour in a slightly different way. So in the authenticate function, I've passed two options. The failure flash has been set to true. So this will enable Passport to pass flash messages back to the root. And if you're wondering what a flash message actually is, it's simply a message that's displayed once to the user and then disappears after that initial view on subsequent reloads of the page. And you'll see those working in just a second. And the other option I've set here is the failure redirect, which specifies which route we should be redirected to upon a failed login. So I've just set that to forward slash login again so that the user gets another chance to actually enter their username and password correctly. So we've already set up a variable inside of our login page called errors, which basically receives a list of errors that have been assigned to the flash function, which is provided to us by the connect flash package that we installed in the previous lesson. And if that's actually a faulty value, we'll just assign a blank array. So over in our login view, we can actually put a bit of EJS at the top of this template to loop through and display any errors that are present in the errors property. And I'll just loop through that errors array and display the error in a list item. And of course, if there are no errors present, the array will be empty and nothing will actually get displayed. So because we did a lot of the hard work in the previous lesson, that should be all we need to do to get some error messages being displayed upon failed logins. So let's head over to the browser and check that out. So this time, if I fail to provide a username or password, you'll see I'll get one entry in the errors array, which is simply missing credentials. And that's coming directly from Passport, letting us know that we didn't supply either a username or a password. And as you can see, we've simply been redirected back to the login page again. If I actually try entering a bad password, you'll see I'll get redirected back to the login page, but there's no error message. And the reason for that is we need to specify the text for our flash messages for things like bad usernames and passwords inside of our local strategy setup. So over in our app.js file, I actually want to put an item into the flash array when either our user is not found or the password is incorrect. So to do that, I need to do a couple of things. The first is to pass another option to the local strategy setup, which is simply pass request to callback. And that will enable me to actually access the request object inside of our local strategy. And with the request object available, I can then pass flash messages, which will be shown on a failed login. And we do that by referencing the flash function when we're returning our callback, and we simply add an item to the error array with the specified text that we want to display. So if we head back to the browser and try and enter a bad password, You'll see this time I'm actually getting the password incorrect flash message that we just configured a moment ago. And let's try it with a non-existent user too. And you can see we get the flash message that we configured if the user's not found. So when you're creating your apps, you might want to consider what type of message you're actually displaying to the user, as letting them know that the user doesn't exist might pose a little bit of a security issue. So you might want to go something generic such as login failed for both of those flash messages. So that's how we set up our flash messages when we're using Passport for our authentication system. And obviously this was just a local strategy that we implemented. There are many others as we saw in the previous videos, such as Facebook, Twitter, or Google logins that you can use. And all you really need to do is follow the documentation that's provided by those strategies, and you can achieve a similar login process. And everything else that we've covered in the last couple of lessons can still be applied to those different strategies.